Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 27. Okay, uh, in the previous episode we got to see um, the new start of a new story arc I'm guessing and it is related with golems and Maka, <coughs> Krona, Soul they, and obviously Ragnarok they are all like uh, going together and is going to like complete this mission and Maka was somehow able to convince Ragnarok to help them by bribing him with uh, how many? I think um, 15 was it? Or not? Anyways, <laughs> I, I, I did, do not remember the exact amount but quite a lot of candies and <laughs> I'm guessing like this is going to like continue and <laughs> Ragnarok is going to help them uh, uh, in like uh, in, uh, when like uh, uh, Maka gives him candy and yeah that's quite fine like <laughs> like it's a win-win situation they get their help and Ragnarok gets the candy so yeah <laughs> like so I'm guessing like uh, they are obviously like officially part of the team uh, I'm talking about Krona and Ragnarok and I had a little bit of doubt uh, about like Ragnarok but Mm, I'm guessing like it will be fine because he'll probably help anyways so <laughs> yeah and <clears throat> uh, obviously like Ragnarok and Krona are a lot more powerful than Maka so it, like in the stand like uh, if you think it through the like power level point of view it is also a, a lot uh, like what can I say um, it is a lot safe and uh, a lot like uh, what, yeah, it is a lot safer to go with um, Krona and Ragnar because they'll probably like help and due to their huge power level, <laughs> they'll come in handy like as team members. Team members, and obviously like I, I'm guessing like uh, like uh, Soul and Maka also has a lot of power, but they like need to like they do not like remain in their state of mind if they like tap into that power. So unless and until they get a full grasp of their uh, like new powers, uh, like they need a good backup, and that is like being provided by Krona and Ragnarok, which is quite good. So yeah, okay guys. So without further ado, let's get started with episode number twenty-seven of Soul Eater. Okay, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. <clears throat> okay, it's quite loud. And there he is, the chainsaw wielding golem. Oh boy okay this is kind of a recap and <laughs> okay he like toppled him up down all right okay so here's the starting I'm guessing this uh, like uh, fight that is uh, Ragnarok, uh, Krona and Maka Soul versus this golem will be a lot easier than like their previous fights because they have handled a lot more powerful enemies than this. Like even though this guy says stuff like I'm 800 years old and 800 years old worth of uh, like rage and all, I doubt that's going to work against them. Because they're a lot more powerful now, like uh, compared to how they were when they started, like when the anime started, obviously. Like they can do soul resonance, and like uh, soul has like a little thing inside him which 
kind of helps him when he needs it but it is kind of counterproductive as well but still and obviously krona and ragnarok are like like one of the most powerful enemies they've faced oh okay this guy's going to come in i'm guessing hmm Stein Hakase is here. What's he doing? Breakfast with Okay, oh. Yes. <coughs> hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, she damaged it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? What the hell was that? Wait a minute, like... Oh! Oh my god, yeah, that thing has a lot of like raw power. Oh, I thought like they'll probably like be able to easily defeat this guy, but... He's pretty strong. Some kind of paralyzing stuff. What are those, like web thread? <coughs> Illusions. What? Black spider. Oh. Oh no. Okay. So like is in order to to tore her own body apart. Lift her so oh okay. Oh alright, so Oh my god, that is disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, one thing that I do not like at all are like spiders. Especially big spiders, like huge spiders. Like, I don't feel anything looking at cockroaches, but spiders are like something that I hate. Mm. <clears throat> Which arachne? Okay. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Okay, in the previous episode, I kind of thought and also said that uh, this is like unrelated to the wavelength or something. But it is kind of related, that means. Oh boy. Calm down, Stein. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> oh no, 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 you should not. I don't think it's like Hmm. Oh my god, okay. Well Oh, is that guy? Oh, I, I thought it was like that priest. Oh my god. Oh no, he, like she's like manifesting. Oh my god, alright. Wait, what happened to him? Wait, does Krona know her? What? What what happened to him? <laughs> is is this, is this the priest? Like what was his name? I forgot. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. One coffin. <laughs> oh boy. Um, why is Krona freaking out? The mother of demon weapon. Oh my. Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is a big deal. So, like the mother of the demon weapons. Damn, like Shinigami principle looks a lot different from how he is now. Oh, so this is when she like transferred her soul into this thing. And I, I think like Krona is freaking out because yeah, obviously like the wavelength and also like Ragnarok is like a uh, demon weapon. Isn't he? Or I'm wrong. Wait. What? Oh, okay, through the spiders. Milicis? Her, like, sister? Um, I don't think that is necessary because obviously that did not work out previously. Oh my god. Oh! Oh boy. <coughs> oh no.
Oh boy. Well, here we go. What the hell is happening? Oh no, her like his blood. Oh my god, damn, that is <laughs> oh my god oh okay oh no oh no 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 wow damn Ooh, damn. <laughs> okay. Mm, he can't hear because obviously <laughs> he's basically listening. <laughs> oh, yeah, Justin. His name was Justin. Thirteen years old, okay. The youngest death site in history. Oh, okay. What what is that voice? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's understandable. Oh, so this guy is also weapon. All right. Oh boy. Well, that's some cool looking like yeah, wavelengths. But the thing is like the lady is like still standing quietly. God damn! <laughs> Edward of Love. <laughs> yeah, they're un they're a lot unevenly matched. Like this lady is just like sitting down and not even doing anything. So. Oh. Yeah, you should probably. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, well, they're doing some tactical retreat. Oh no. Well, the golem is going to pose as a problem. Okay.
Hmm. What's your name? Okay. Oh, damn. Like he like cut his head off. Okay. Yep. Let's pray. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't even have like a partner, like Yeah, if he had like had a partner he would have been a lot more stronger but like uh, this guy can do like partial transformation that's why he can fight obviously well like uh, soul cannot do that he is a scythe and like if he like could have at least like made his hand like a scythe blade or something he could have fought but he completely transforms <laughs> what the <laughs> oh this is why he was like <laughs> bringing a coffin uh, I don't think he's a <laughs> oh no Oh no. Red carpet. What the hell is this guy? Damn, he's mosquito kun. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not a mosquito. That's a butler. Okay, mosquito butler, okay. Yeah. What the Um What <laughs> What the <laughs> Castle, oh my god, these guys have a castle as well. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, like on one on top of the other. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's a nice castle. Mm. Network Network of spiders or something Who the Oh my god Damn she has a like big fan base <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, new ending. Okay, this is like a, a quite different and type of ending. Mm, it's, it's quite like catchy
Hmm, it's quite. This is a quite catchy like ending. Damn. So this is like a full blown arc then. Start of a full blown arc. Okay, so yeah. That's the end of um episode number 27 of Soul Eater. Okay. So one thing, um <laughs> I was extremely what can I say? Uh like I misunderstood the whole thing. That is, I thought they, like this was probably going to be like a small little arc of one or two episodes as they usually do and they'll probably like easily defeat uh, the guy and like go on their own way but oh my god like it completely took a different turn and I was not expecting that at all and this is like uh, I'm guessing like they're like getting into another one of like the big arcs and everything and uh, like with the amount of things that happened in this episode and uh, like that girl like that lady was uh, medusa's elder sister so like she's a spider and her like little sister is a snake <laughs> okay so yeah and uh, okay so this episode was quite uh, like extremely interesting like um like i was not expecting how it like went uh, and uh, like how it like like how it uh, w went on and the guy uh, I think his name was um what was his name it's like a weird name I'm talking about that like uh, the guy who uh, revived Arachne uh, the weapon guy <sighs> yeah he's, he has like a weird name I can't remember it anyways um he like I thought like he was um he would probably be like quite like what can I say weak and everything and in the previous episode I also kind of said that yeah like uh, like Maka soul and they have like uh, <coughs> handle a lot of enemies which are like a lot stronger and uh, I thought like uh, yeah they'd probably like uh, like stop him somehow quite easily and they'll be on his way and this golem problem would probably be like resolved in one or two episodes oh my god so like <laughs> The problem was not the golem, the problem was the soul within the golem. So like the enemy that like the enemy that I thought that they were going to fight and they were probably going to have a little bit of hard time but they will probably like be able to overcome it. I thought it was the golem but no. The actual enemy is the soul within the golem that is uh, Arachne and this Arachne lady is a pretty big like deal and uh, yeah because obviously the Shinigami principal was also like concerned about it and I'm guessing like she like has power levels uh, a lot uh, like similar to uh, uh, Kishin and like yeah she seemed quite powerful and like the uh, other guy who was with Arachne the weapon guy he like he went toe to toe with uh, one of the death sites uh, Justin Kun so like like just uh, imagine like he has so he has the power level uh, similar to a death site and I'm guessing obviously that is like uh, not a guess but uh, Arachne is a lot more powerful than uh, the uh, uh, guy uh, weapon guy the Gulliton guy and so like this will be a pretty like what can i say uh like the arachne lady will be pretty strong and i we don't even know like if she has uh like any other like powerful uh type of friends like uh like we saw that uh, at the last that we saw that they have a lot of subjects like they'll probably be used as foot soldiers and like uh like mob characters would probably be like as you guys know like in animes we see like those mob characters that the enemies use and 
I'm talking about uh, not I'm not talking about them I'm talking about like someone like uh, the Gulliton guy and the Mosquito uh, like butler thing I'm guessing he has uh, he's quite strong as well uh, like these type of characters uh, I don't know if like she has more of friends like those and if she has more of them this will be like be a bigger problem and like they are like uh, like they have like prepared for this obviously like they said like they have been preparing for like 800 years so yeah like <laughs> so yeah this is like no surprise like they're all prepared and all and uh, this will be a pretty big fight i'm guessing in the upcoming episodes we're going to get and uh, uh yeah that was that and uh, like i'm uh, in the middle of it uh <coughs> excuse me in the middle of it uh Krona kind of freaked out um i don't know why like uh most probably like looking at the witch's uh soul's wavelength and also like uh like she has what can i say um like she is like the sister elder sister of medusa so i don't know because of that i'm guessing he kind of freaked out and like tried to like fight her blindly and obviously like uh arachne didn't even bat an eyelid she just like swatted him out just like that so yeah okay so this will be like uh like a big arc i'm guessing okay and uh what else was there um oh yeah another thing is like as soul said that he is quite uh like he can't do anything if Maka is somehow injured and yeah that is kind of um, a liability in like if you look at it that way but like the problem with soul is like he transforms completely like fully like uh, his whole body transforms so like obviously he can't do anything the thing we saw with Justin is like he partially transforms his like hand and brings out like that gulliton type of stuff from his hand like that blade of the gulliton uh, and so that is the reason why he can like fight with it but obviously like a soul is unable to do that i'm guessing like uh, he can also like uh, do training and stuff and can i don't know i'm just guessing like he would probably be able to do that as again like as well but like the best thing would be like soul only transforming is like his hand like he is like a scythe like the blade of the scythe if he like transforms his hand partially and makes it a blade of the scythe he can like easily wield it uh without like uh having uh someone else wield him uh, for emergency purposes uh, obviously because uh like he has maka and maka wielding him him is like the best possible outcome but if somehow like maka gets injured or something happens if they like get uh what can i say <coughs> get separated somehow um yeah like he can like hold his like uh like he can fight his own battles that's why but like one thing is quite uh like what can i say like souls like this is one thing that i am a bit uh like i, I kind kind of like i'm thinking about is like soul has like soul can has still like still has a chance to like fight himself like he can uh, i'm guessing he would probably be like able to partially transform some of his like hand or some stuff uh, and partially transform it into a weapon and fight it just like justin but the thing is like soul himself can uh, like hold his ground but what about maka like just imagine as like uh, a thing like <coughs> just imagine if like maka and soul get separated somehow and maka is alone soul can like uh, even, like at least try to fight uh, by like trying to partially transform his uh, like uh, himself into a weapon and try to fight and if like he masters that technique that justin did he can fight on his own but what about maka like she is like a, like just a human so like that is like a big problem and uh, like yeah like this this thing is like the same for everyone like this applies to all like black star and kid like uh, the thing with patty and um, oh my god what was the name 
Oh my god, I forgot her name again. Anyways, uh, Thompson sisters. Uh, the thing with them is like, if they are together, they can like each wield each other. But like, what about a kid? Like, if he somehow gets separated from like his weapons, then he's like just a normal guy. So, yeah, like I've never thought of this before. So, like, they have to be always like together. And same with Black Star. Like, Subaki is like the weapon, and without. Subaki, uh, but I, I'm guessing Blackstar like has some kind of like an, uh, like he he's some kind of a ninja and he can still like try to like uh, sneak out of situations like that and he still has a chance but like if like if this the same thing happens with Kid and Maka this will be a problem because they're like normal human beings so yeah like I've never thought of this before it kind of like struck my mind after like listening to soul say that yeah i can't fight alone and uh, yeah like like this is like a full like their, their power comes from like interacting with each other fighting with each other and like the soul resonance and everything so like the teamwork and the like like being to with each other and always like keeping close to each other so that like whenever enemies come they would be able to fight that is like the main um main thing so yeah okay and okay and also another thing like uh, in the previous episode i kind of thought that uh, this thing that happened uh, was completely like unrelated to the uh, kishin's uh, madness uh, thing that he was like madness wavelength that was affecting the others because I thought like this was most probably something different and like not related to it at all but turns out that I am kind of wrong because as Stein um, did his research we got to know like this is also like this is happening because uh, Arachne's soul is within the golem so yeah like I knew that uh, in the previous episode I knew that there was a soul inside but I thought like maybe this was like something completely different because like he was like planning this for 800 years and I thought like this is something completely different that is why that uh, that is why like uh, the other people who are have also this kind of madness inside them did not get affected but this golem got affected because this is a completely different thing like it has no relation with Kishin's um, uh, what can I say uh, Kishin's madness uh, wavelength soul wavelength so I thought like because like those two things are different I think that I, I thought that uh, that was the reason why like uh, the golem like woke up first like this is like the first incident that happened after Kishin got uh, released and the uh, thing with the madness thing started all around the place so I thought like this was the two things were completely different so things like this happened before uh, any other cases like this happened but turns out that I was kind of wrong but because like uh, this also like got affected by it and obviously because like the Arachne's soul was inside the golem that got affected and like he was able to like bring her back and uh, yeah so <coughs> yeah that was that uh, so now we have like two <laughs> enemies the Kishin and the and Arachne and his uh, like her teammates and yeah like like this is like kind of a new thing because obviously like uh, when like I, I thought like we were going to get more of like Kishin and like uh, something related to Kishin and everything but this is like a whole new arc is starting which is not completely unrelated to Kishin but kind of unrelated because Arachne as as far as I'm seeing is like she has her own like uh, what can I say she has her own beef with um, <coughs> Shinigami principle because obviously we saw previously that Shinigami uh, principle was kind of chasing her and she was like uh, forced to transfer her soul into the golem so I'm guessing like that is the reason why like she is so angry with him and probably like would go for revenge and I'm guessing like that is like her goal now revenge so yeah and seeing all of this um, one thing I can say they need more training 
Maka, Seoul, uh, Krona, Ragnarok, all of them. More trendy. Otherwise, uh, this will be a problem. And even though I think like uh, this Arachne lady is not as powerful as the Kishin, but still she is quite strong. And I'm guessing like uh, if they train hard, like Maka, Seoul, and everyone train hard, they'd probably be able to match the power level of Arachne. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what happens in the next few episodes. I'm guessing like they'll like. Uh, Maka, Soul, Ragnarok, Krona, they'll probably start training and Black Star, Subaki, Kid, Kid is pretty strong himself so I don't know about him but they'll also like start training and all for the huge <laughs> upcoming battles not battle, plural because obviously Kishin is still here like we should not forget him <laughs> who knows like someday he might just jump out and say surprise I'm here <laughs> and start like destroying the whole city <laughs> like yeah that is one thing to like look out for as well so yeah so yeah guys that was this episode that was episode number 27 of soul eater if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode i'll be sure to check them out and so yeah i'll be back with a new soul eater episode after one day Thank you for watching and yeah, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.